hi 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 everyone i'm on a roll here i've just i don't know i managed to get time off to make some videos and i thought this today i have to get it done because welcome back to this channel for those that don't know that you're new here if this is your first time welcome join the family we are here to talk everything international student and help ourselves i used to be an international student now lecturing in the uk and i'm very much happy to help you in your journey however possible that I can and now for this video I'm going to be talking about milestones in PhD in the UK obviously ah, that's what I know so say for example you're considering um if what what does it what's it like to even um do a PhD in the UK what what's the what's the structure what's what's the whole you know format of doing a phd in the uk so that's what i want to talk about today now in the uk we have something we call milestones for each uh phd candidate so when you're about to begin your phd you start from ground zero right you know from the start obviously and then as you go on you have to meet some milestones these are most they are like things that we put in place for us to check that you're progressing in your program and you would be able to complete. Like I said, universities freak out when students don't complete on time. So this is something we like to do. And so where there's a need for um, recommendation for you to, for not you, <laughs> obviously like a nigerian mom would say no me i'm not withdrawing but where there's a recommendation for someone to withdraw then it will be done earlier than um when you know the person is like towards the end so so sort of like these milestones are there for us to keep everyone in check and make sure things are going smoothly and where there aren't we can either address the issue or ask the candidate to just stop the program or something like that so anyway the first one is when you start at at the start um, of your program you're obviously in inducted you're giving some training you know just some introduction to what to expect with you from yourself as a phd candidate from your supervisory team from the university and from other um, supports available like the it like the for those that have lab like the technician team like and all that all that all that just just now once you start your phd you go all the way and then um the, the next there will be a master for you between four to six months so that's the first time they are going to check like the university will check and what that first milestone it depends on the universities they have different milestone structure i'm just telling you the universities that i know and i've heard and this is what's happening there um usually it will be about four to six months and they call it different names as well so don't quote me on this but um it can be initial review I don't know I, I that's what i know it's called but i think there are other names but anyway they first do the first check that's like the first um, milestone that we uh, conduct so for the initial review it also depends on the university some universities i don't want this video to be too long but i want to explain each milestone i don't know so for some universities you would submit um your proposal the one you you would have updated it obviously with your supervisory team so you submit your proposal some university would expect you to present you know so you have a powerpoint slide as well and talk about your proposal so they really know you know what you're doing what, or what you're setting out to do so that's the first one is between four to six months after your phd start the next one comes about 12 months and that's the one we call annual review so with the annual review you're going to be doing that every year so that means you have a panel for your annual review you have a panel you have to submit the document of what you have done um within the one year period um one thing i would suggest is for those that are already doing this i probably should have a video on this but it will be that for each of your annual review you have to have a significant something you're going to share that you haven't shared before so something significant so for example your first annual review might be a system might be a systematic review so you might present the finding of your systematic review in your first uh, annual review or something like that so something really like i've done something um huge not just yeah i've been doing i've just been reviewing no reviewing articles and that's it no you have to have something like a measurable um outcome that you can present to them like this is what i've done right so um you do that initial um sorry that annual review the first one 
then the next one will come in the next six months after that and that's like about 18 months each into your program and in that phase you're going to be doing what we call a transfer it depends there are different names for it in different universities some call it major review or something but um other might call it a transfer so what this transfer does is that you're moving from mfu because actually when you register for phd at the start you're actually registered under mfu so master of philosophy and you stay on there for about 18 months so the next when you're now transferring you are now going into phd that's where you transfer into phd and at that point um what you are expected to do is to also deliver something of um, significance that you have done within the last 18 months some people already have some findings their initial findings you know the first phase of their program maybe um of their project is done and then they have some findings to present at that point you mostly you on all occasions you face a panel you present in some universities you submit documents some universities expect you to submit at least ten thousand words or even more document for your transfer and um, when you finish that you obviously will be vivid ask question you defend what you are do you've done and what you will do they will give you a recommendation they will talk to your supervisory team they would also ask you this is done for every milestone how you're finding your supervisory team how are they supporting you is there any issue you want issue you want to complain about them and please don't keep your mouth um, short or keep mute where there's an issue raise it because these things do come back at the end to bite you and you're the one that will suffer it you know when your examiners are like drilling you you've not done this you've not done that and it's because you haven't got a supervisory team that are supportive and you can't really defend yourself at that point right so it's better to say it's in those um, review panel and don't worry about the consequences honestly if you have evidences say it so anyway they would ask you questions i will talk about the viva process and you know what's the intricacies in terms of what is done from all angles i used to be a student i'm now vibrant student so sort of like know what is done as a student and also what we look for as um examiners now that i'm on the panel so anyway you do the transfer and then you go on to phd this is where they tell you congratulations you are now registered onto phd so you also do another six months and then your annual review comes again so that's another milestone so you do the um annual review for the second year now you're going into your third year now with the third year you have a whole year you don't have anything in between and then the last one is done um the annual review now, now for the last one you either have an annual review or you have a viva depending on when you're finishing your phd so if you're finishing your phd in between second year and third year which is not often but some people do manage to finish before that three years then you will have your viva and that's it but if your phd extend into your fourth year so you do you didn't manage to finish before your annual review then you will have an annual review and then you would also have a viva maybe four months five months depending on where you finish later on so that's sort of like the uh, milestones now after the viva you would not be that's the end that's like where they tell you congratulations well hopefully some people don't pass viva we'll talk a bit more about vivas as well um but if hopefully you pass your viva that's where they tell you congratulations we're recommending you for a phd award and so um with that you you're done with all the milestones and that's the end of it so i hope i have not i tried to rush this uh because there's a lot to still talk about in between each of these um milestones but if you let can you let me know for those um that are already in the process if your uh, milestone structure is a bit different from what i've described and what's different about it and which would you prefer really uh, would you prefer the type that i've um, talked about just now or would you please share like and let me know if um this is of any use to you uh and uh yeah just be part of the team thank you very much um bye bye